Hello, this is Code Ode. In this video, we are going to talk about user input. We want to move our paddle. Well, in JavaScript, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty easy to move to take uh, keyboard input. We have two main events: key down and key up. Whenever we press a key, the key down event is fired, and uh, when we release that key, then we have the key up event. We need an array const keys pressed. Uh, we are going to use the key code that we are given when we press uh, and uh, release uh, a certain key as an index and set true or false based uh, uh, on the status of that key if it is pressed or uh, if we just released uh, that key. So we have to use the window object then say event, write an event listener then key down the name of the event and then a callback which takes and the the event it's an object with all the de details about the current event and let's say console log e and then key code let's see the key code we save and go back to the browser right click and then inspect console click on the page and then press the app arrow we can see that it's 38 and down 40 so we have to save this too but first things first, we say key pressed, and then the we save as uh, a new value with the index e key code, and we say true. Now we do the same thing for key up. So when the key is down, this is true. We have the value true with the index, uh, the key code of uh, that key, and then when the key is down, key up. So when the key is released, we have false. And now we can go uh, throw a paddle uh, into the update function. We can write. We, we can write, but uh, we have to store those uh, two key codes. Let's say const up key up. Let's say thirty-eight const key down. 40 and then here we have to check if key is pressed key up key up then we know this uh, position y we have to subtract the velocity this velocity y and then if key is pressed key down this position y we have to add the velocity on the y axis and then we have uh, we have to remove the paddle too because uh, both paddles are going to be moved at the same time and that's it now save go back to the browser and see the result perfect now we have to check uh, one more thing, the collision with the top and bottom edges. That is pretty simple. Create a new function, function, paddle, collision with the edges. Paddle, if paddle y pose y less or equal to zero, then paddle pose y is equal with 0 and if paddle pose y plus paddle height greater or equal than canvas height then paddle pose i equals canvas height minus paddle height now we have to add this code um, let's say here paddle collision with edge let's say paddle 1 and that's it save go back to the browser and see that uh, right now uh, there is collision between the paddle and the top and bottom edges well that's it with this tutorial uh, with this video 
in the next one I think uh, we are going to talk about the collision between the bow and the paddles and uh, later on we are going to write the, the very simple AI for uh, the second paddle see you soon